Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the atomic shop, see what we got there. Afterwards, navigate to the daily challenges, see what we got to do in order to make some score. And afterwards, we'll take a look on what we have to do for the daily ops and what are we going to be facing today. I wish you all good luck in finding those rare items that you're still looking for. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so today for the Atomic Shot we got the Blackbird Paint for the Super Sledge. There we go, with a 50% discount. And I'm gonna grab it because I wanna display those uh, weapon skins uh, sometime in the later future. I'm still collecting the 90 weight reduction uh, so I can get as many as possible and put them on my walls. So with a 50% discount I'm getting it, definitely. And uh, now that I've got it, let me show you how it looks like. Alright, so once you got the skin and you want to apply the skin, you'll need to go to your uh, weapon workbench, uh, get your uh, super sledge, navigate to your skins of the super sledge, and select it. So as you can see, I got uh, these three options right now. This is from season one, this is from season two. And today we're looking at this one right here. Uh, honestly, it actually does look pretty nice. I like the dark color. Uh, color. Plus, I've seen uh, guys with the Blackbird Power Armor skin wearing this Blackbird Super Sledge, and I'm going to say it does look good. So if you got that uh, Blackboard Power Armor and you love using it and you use this type of weapon, it might be a good idea to get it. For me, as I said, I got it the only reason. I don't use Super Sledge, but the only reason why I got it is because I'm going to be displaying these type of weapons uh, later on. So let me show you how that weapon is going to look in the first and third person. So let me get over here and uh, find my item. It should be somewhere not far. There we go. So, bam. That's the first person. There we go. Looking good. And let's go third person mode. Itch. And there we go looking good like not bulky not none of that stuff it looks good that bucket by the way that you've seen at, at the start of the review of this specific skin is actually very bulky in first person very I, I would say it's unplayable in first person it kinda takes like maybe 30 percent of your screen if not more I have a separate review for that so you might want to look it up Alright, so that's pretty much it. I like it. <laughs> what are you what is your takeaway on this skin? Please do comment down below. And now let's navigate to the daily challenges to see what we gotta do and we'll make some score. Alright, so for the daily challenges we got the following. Buy an item or sell an item from another player. Uh straightforward. You go to any vending machine, buy something, or wait until someone buys something off your vending machine and you're done. Uh but the easiest way is to go to another player's vending camp and buy one bullet. Done. So, uh, complete a daily operation. Everybody those, does those operations as we're all still looking for some uh, plans, outfits that we still didn't get. So, we're still grinding those and uh, definitely you'll get this completed. Uh, that's for the daily ops, by the way, if you did not know. Uh, Gold Star, complete a daily challenge. Uh, once you complete uh, five daily challenges, uh, as you can see, I have two completed. Uh, this will trigger and reward you with the additional score. Uh, kill a glowing creature. Well, most probably I would recommend going. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. I'm gonna do that uh, in the next clip because I'm actually curious. A lot, of, a lot of things changed after patch 22, so we're gonna test this out together. We're gonna go. I know a spot where are there used to be four glowing cockroaches. We're gonna go get those guys. The reason why for glowing cockroaches is because for the lower levels it will be easier to kill them. That's why I want to show that spot. Nuclear winter deploy a camp twice. Super simple. Uh, you jump into the lobby. You get you load in in the world. Try to spawn in somewhere away from people, like somewhere like away from homes, like somewhere like in the middle of nowhere, and place the camp twice as you place the camp in the adventure mode, and you will get it done. Use a photo mode in your own camp, so go to your camp, take a picture, and you get it done. 
uh, complete an event, pretty straightforward. Level up, pretty straightforward. All right, so let's go and check our glowing creatures, shall we? All right, so the place I wanted to take you was actually Clogsburg Shooting Club. There were four glowing cockroaches, but they got killed by the ghouls, level 50. That's unfortunate. Uh, but we also have some glowing cockroaches in Prickett's Fort and on the very top. So this is where you spawn in and uh, we're going to go and kill one of those cockroaches. If it triggers, then you can come here and uh, search for the others because they're... I really don't remember the all exact locations, uh, but I know that one is sitting over here behind this locked door. I don't have the lock picks right now. I mean, uh, it's pretty straightforward, right? Uh, then there should be one over here. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh crutch. Boom. Oh, wait, I didn't make it trigger it, right? Challenges. Oh. Wrong. I actually don't need the score, so okay, it worked. It worked. We're good then. So that's your cockroach number one. There you go. Z Junior is also commenting. Cockroach number two is behind this door, and there should be one more cockroach somewhere around here. Let's let's look for him real quick together. I think he was on the second floor of that building. Boom. I'm pretty sure it was here. Cockroach. Ah, there you go. And cockroach number three. You see? It works. You come here. You get the mission completos. Alright, so let's take a look at what we got for the daily operations. Please, not resilient mutation. Ta-da-da-da! This is my favorite combo, man. So, Vault 94, Super Mutants, and Freezing Touch. This is when I just do daily ops for the ammo, for stim packs. I just do it because this is like super easy. This is like, mwah, I love it. I just love it. So, good luck. Yeah, Johnny, good luck. You wishing you good luck too. <laughs> Alright, Z-Clan and everybody else, this is where we're going to be calling it the end for this video. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Johnny! See, that's what happens if you don't smash that leg. <laughs> you don't be smashing that table. Ah! So yeah, this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like. Comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity. As those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them. I see them. I read them. And I delete them. So if you want your comments to be read, I just took it away from him. <laughs> just don't swear. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm just I'm gonna cut it short here. Okay, if you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. All useful links are under the video description, including our Discord, which has almost over 700 members. But do read the rules, and if you get lost, just watch the tutorial. It'll help you out because you need to apply user roles to see the correct chats. I'll catch you all on the next video. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the